back again, JC? Yeah. I'm glad. I've got something to show you. Look, what I found. Starfish. And so many of them. Look, how pretty they are. Wow, they sure are pretty. Yes, they are. The sea is a wonderful place, isn't it, JC? Do you want these starfish, JC? I will give you half. You will? Really? Of course. There's no fun without sharing. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Now, let's see if we can divide them equally between us. We don't want any leftover, do we? I have 76 starfish here, JC. Let's see. If 76 is divisible by 2, hmm? Yes, it is. Uh, that was fast. Wow, Crabster, you are really good at division. <laughs> I didn't divide, JC. There's an easy trick to check if a number is divisible by 2 without actually dividing. Really? Oh, wow! Yes! A number is divisible by 2 if its one's digit is even or zero. Oh, so 76 is divisible by 2 because its one's digit is 6, which is an even number. Yes, so we can divide our starfish equally. Yay! But Crabster, are there tricks like this for other numbers as well? Yes, there are, JC. Would you like to learn them? Yes, please. All right, then. So, what's the test of divisibility by 3? Well, if the sum of the digits of the given number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Okay. Is 27 divisible by 3? 2 plus 7 is 9, which is divisible by 3. So 27 is divisible by 3. Oh, this is cool. Hmm, and you know what? Numbers which are divisible by both 2 and 3 are divisible by 6. Really? Yes. Take 36. It has 6 in the 1's place, so it's divisible by 2. Now, let's check if 36 is divisible by 3. 3 plus 6 is 9, which is divisible by 3. So, 36 is divisible by 3 as well. Since 36 is divisible by both 2 and 3, it is also divisible by 6. Yes, 6 times 6 is 36. <laughs> yes, so 36 is divisible by 6. Now, the test of divisibility by 9. If the sum of all the digits of the given number is 9, then the given number is divisible by 9, like 81. 8 plus 1 is 9. So 81 is divisible by 9. And 27, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Very good, JC. Huh? <laughs> what about 5 and 10? All numbers ending with 0 and 5 are divisible by 5. Like 25 or 10. And all numbers ending with 0 are divisible by 10? <laughs> exactly. 25 is divisible by 5. But 10 is divisible by both 5 and 10. Now, let's learn the test of divisibility by 4. Right. A number is divisible by 4 
if the number formed by its last two digits is divisible by 4 or if its last two digits are zeros. Hmm. Hmm. Is 6,394 divisible by 4? 94 divided by 4? Um, no, the number 94 is not divisible by 4. Even 6,394 is not divisible by 4. Correct. And is 500 divisible by 4? Yes, it is. Because the last two digits of 500 are zeros. You are right, JC. 500 is completely divisible by 4. These tests make it so much easier to find the factors of a number, isn't it? That's what they are for. Do you want to know the tests of divisibility for 11 and 12 as well? What are they? If you want to check whether a number is divisible by 11, you just add the alternate digits of the given number to get two sums. Now, if the difference between the two sums is 0 or divisible by 11, the number is divisible by 11. Take the number 31603. Adding the alternate digits, we get 12 and 1. 12 minus 1 is 11, which is obviously divisible by 11. So 31,603 is divisible by 11. Super! Now, let's take the number 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4, mm, like mm, 144. Is 144 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. And is 144 divisible by 4? It is. 144 is divisible by both 3 and 4. This means that it is divisible by 12. Exactly. We are done here, JC. These are all the tests of divisibility I know. So you think you can remember all these tests of divisibility? Of course. Now I can use these tricks and pretend that I can do division really fast. Everyone will be so impressed. <laughs> okay, okay, but that can wait. Right now, the water looks more inviting. Let's go for a dip. Let's go. Remember these tests of divisibility for numbers. A number is divisible by another number. If on dividing it, there is no remainder. A number is divisible by 2 if its 1's digit is even or 0. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits of the given number is a multiple of 3. A number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its 1's and 10's digits is divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 5 if its 1's digit is either 0 or 5. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is 9. A number is divisible by 10 if the number ends with 0. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the alternate digits of the number is divisible by 11. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. <laughs>